Hi everyone, uh, thank you again uh, for giving us a chance to present our work at uh, Fraunhofer AI Innovation Days. Uh, my name is Do uh, from Systems Engineering Group, Till Dresden. I am also a co-founder of Scontain. And uh, in our company, we offer confidential computing services for our customers. And today, I'm very excited to present one of our uh, user cases uh, in AI domains, which is a skill multi a stakeholder machine learning. And uh, the goal of our work is to provide a platform that allow uh, multiple stakeholders, uh, such as data owner, uh, code owner, model owner, uh, who do not uh, necessarily uh, chat each other, uh, still can come uh, together and perform machine learning to unlock uh, all of the uh, benefits of AI. So uh, let us start with the uh, motivation uh, behind uh, of our work. Uh, and nowadays, uh, machine learning techniques uh, are widely adopted uh, to be used uh, AI system. Uh, we are uh, used uh, in our uh, daily life, uh, for example, self-driving car. And now that we can uh, drive a car and also read a book at the same time. And also, uh, we can uh, automatically translate the roadside in the foreign uh, country uh, by using uh, only the camera of our smartphone. And uh, as a supermarket, uh, now that we also can buy with the uh, uh, using uh, our face uh, via the face recognition uh, system. And uh, uh, finally, is uh, in, in in hospital nowadays, uh, um, doctor can detect the disease at the uh, earlier uh, stage than ever before, and uh, many and many other uh, applications, and all of these uh, AI system is uh, built uh, by on the machine learning, and now take a look on the uh, uh, byline, the basic byline of machine learning uh, computation. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, training data, and the training data is loaded into the training uh, engine, and uh, to, uh, to to build the model, machine learning model, and the uh, machine learning model then can be used by the inference engine to make the prediction or classification for clients. For example, client can send their data to get the uh, uh, inference result. And uh, all of this computation normally is deployed in the public cloud uh, to take the benefit of the scalability, efficiency, uh, durability uh, uh, with a uh, lower, with a very low cost compared with uh, by the huge server to perform all of the training uh, or machine learning computation. And in this setting, uh, the uh, privacy and security have become the uh, big concern uh, because the computation uh, like training and inference normally is processed over the plain text data, like training data, the model. And basically, we have to type attack, uh, attack uh, uh, from outside, try to protect the communication between client and the cloud provider to steal the security information. And the second type of attack is more dangerous. The attacker inside of cloud provider, uh, the attackers that have the privileged access or root access to your system. And it's very common nowadays because uh, many cloud providers they have thousands and hundreds of thousand employees, and some of them may try to steal the secret or confidential information of your application. And uh, Another uh, fact uh, is that is machine learning is a, a fundamental uh, multiple stakeholder computation. So it includes uh, multiple stakeholders, for example, the uh, training data owner, training code owner, model owner, inference code owner, and client. And uh, all of this computation is performed inside uh, a cloud uh, by uh, the infrastructure uh, maintained by the uh, infrastructure uh, owner, like cloud, cloud provider. 
And the issue here is to perform the machine learning computation, all of these stakeholders have to trust each other. However, this trust has become increasingly unmanageable since they may, uh, some of the uh, uh, stakeholders may collude with each other to take uh, advantage over other stakeholders. Uh, and the question here is how to enable uh, multiple stakeholders uh, who don't need to trust each other to come together, work together to perform machine learning computation together to unlock all benefits of AI. This is the main goal of our work. And to achieve that, we uh, uh, build a platform uh, based on the, our confidential computing platform named SCONE. Uh, so basically, SCONE is not only support for machine learning application, but also support another cloud native application, uh, such as a database uh, system, um, data analytics system, uh, and etc. Uh, so it's not only support only machine learning. However, in this talk or this presentation, I just focus only on the machine learning application. So the idea is uh, to uh, protect the data and the code and the model of the machine learning application. Uh, we always uh, uh, encrypt all of the data. Uh, the data here is not only the uh, input training data, uh, classification data, but also the code and secret. And the code and, and the secret and the data and the model only is uh, visible for the attested and authorized services. And by doing this way, we can protect the machine learning application against the insider attack, for example, uh, the attacker with the root access or pre root access. And what they can see in the outside, like in the hard disk system of the file, will be encrypted. And they uh, even they dump the memory and they just get the encrypted data and they cannot see the plain text data or the plain text code and or model of your machine learning application. And you may argue that um, uh, using encryption may be incur overhead of your uh, machine learning application. That is true in the case we use the software based encryption. However, in our uh, platform, we use the hardware based encryption. Uh, in fact, we use the uh, trusted execution environment technology and especially is the Intel SGX. So, what is the Intel SGX? It is the first build, uh, building block of our uh, framework. So SDX is a software guard extension, is a set of processor uh, extension to establish a trusted execution environment inside a uh, machine learning application. And SDX is trying to protect the uh, uh, integrity, confidentiality of your machine learning application by creating an isolated uh, memory region called Enclave. And inside Enclave, uh, all uh, uh, your uh, application and your library belong to up your application can be excused and the, from outside uh, even the uh, uh, system software cannot access this uh, isolated memory and this uh, uh, encrypted memory can be decrypted by only the hardware the CPU SDX is very practical because it's uh, cheap and uh, widely available. So nowadays you can buy a laptop or, or server or, or support in CPU and also cloud provider like Amazon, IBM, they already all support uh, SDX and also uh, uh, Alibaba Cloud also support SDX. Now I'll uh, take a look in more detail. Uh, how the uh, memory protection mechanism of SDX work. Uh, so the unenclave uh, is mapped or the isolated uh, memory uh, dedicated for your application is mapped into reserved memory region called enclave page cache, EBC. And EBC is uh, encrypted and only the decrypted 
by the memory encryption engine MEE is a bucket inside the CPU. And just uh, even the malicious adversary that have full control over the hardware, it cannot access or modify the data of your application. And uh, uh, Enclave is also protected from protected from other uh, system software running the same host, physical host, including the operating system, hypervisor, and etc. That is the first uh, building block of our, our framework. And uh, the, the second uh, building block that are very important in the uh, confidential application is the attestation and key management. Uh, so um, in our platform, we uh, basically uh, perform the transparently perform the attestation of your uh, uh, machine learning application or machine learning program to ensure that the code and the data is not modified by anyone, uh, let's say an, uh, an attacker. And uh, uh, we also provide and build and develop the mechanism to provide the uh, configuration and security to run your machine learning application after attestation. And we also support the key sharing uh, without revealing, uh, revealing the secret between the computation, for example, uh, if um, uh, data uh, owner, like training data owner, they can uh, share the security with the uh, training uh, uh, the, the, the training code owner, so that can work. They can work together uh, without attracting each other. Uh, so the sharing mechanism is we perform inside Enclave and uh, the security cannot be seen by any human. So uh, let's say uh, your uh, application, machine, machine learning application is deployed inside of, uh, a public cloud and uh, the remote attestation is there, uh, answer the question is how do we can ensure that, uh, we, how we can ensure that the the code inside the application is running uh, uh, correct code in the sense that it's not uh, modified by anyone like uh, and by an attacker. And to, to, to verify that, we have to uh, provide, provide the uh, mechanism called remote attestation. And uh, uh, to do that transpar transparently, uh, we uh, retrofit the attest remote attestation from Intel and to build our own the remote attestation mechanism uh, in the comp uh, using uh, by building the component name the CAS or SCON CAS is a configuration attestation service seat. and it's itself also run inside of Enclave and also uh, can be deployed inside a cloud or can be uh, can be easily to deploy in like uh, in a trusted server. So in that, uh, if it be in, in trusted server, is uh, doesn't need to run inside Enclave. And Sconecast, we perform the uh, attestation for your application in the remote host in the public cloud, uh, and then provide the security for your application. But at first. Uh, because school cards is all, if in the case also deploy in cloud, the user need to perform the attach station uh, to make sure the school card is run correct code and not modified by anyone like an attacker. And after that, uh, yeah, the user we define the policy, security policy, uh, to define how. Uh, other can use their data or their code or a model. For example, as a user like a data owner that defines policy that only the training uh, computation can accept their data and other cannot. And after that user, we submit the policy to protect their property uh, into the CAS, our uh, configuration management system 
and then CAS, we will form a test station to make sure the code run in the remote host is the correct code. And after that, it can transfer the secret, like for example, the key to decrypt the training data uh, to your application. And then it can perform the training or inference uh, and etc. It is uh, uh, the, the one, the key thing in our uh, uh, framework. Now, uh, let's uh, take a look uh, how we can support the uh, uh, skill multiple uh, stakeholder machine learning. And first, let's uh, take a look on again on the uh, basic pipeline of uh, machine learning computation, uh, including the training and inference. And uh, to protect the, uh, the training code and the data and the model, we run it with Intel ATX. Uh, by doing this way, and can protect it can protect the uh, uh, all property like training data, training codes, model, and inference code against the privileged uh, attacker uh, that have the root access to the system. And this, uh, the second thing is the, how to support the multiple stakeholder machine learning. So the idea here is we build a component called security uh, policy ma manager that based on the CAS, SCON CAS that I uh, described or presented in previous slides. And uh, the security policy manager also run inside uh, SGI. And uh, uh, as the first step, of the chain uh, stakeholder, we define the policy. Uh, it performs the attestation to the security uh, policy manager, and then define the policy how to protect uh, the property like the training data, training code model, and in inference code. And 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 then it we perform attestation to the. Uh, security policy manager and submit the security policy to the this component and this component is uh, play the role like CAS and it will perform the uh, adaptation to the training code to make sure the training code inference code is running uh, with the correct code is not modified by anyone and it will uh, enforce of this computation follow the policy. For example, only the training code can access the training data, uh, access the security to decrypt the training data. And uh, the output of the training data also encrypted and the secret uh, of the output of training data is a model. It only can be shared with inference and the inference can get this key to uh, equally to model and to serve the client and all communication here we perform uh, via the uh, TOA connection and uh, one uh, another thing is uh, uh, the uh, secret here uh, can be generated uh, inside of the security policy manager so all the security that defined by the stakeholder even cannot be seen by stakeholder. It we uh, inside of a policy manager we automatically generate the security and this secret is can be seen only by machine by the uh, uh, hardware uh, CPU but not like by any human being. That is a uh, key idea of uh, our system to support the multi-stakeholder machine learning uh, computation. And now let's take a look at uh, our demo. So I prepared the demo uh, using a server supported exact hardware. And uh, first take a look at the structure of the demo. So in the uh, Analytics folder is contains all main component, uh, all 
of main components of computation in this demo and uh, in this demo I will show how to encrypt it, uh, how to encrypt uh, input data and uh, perform the machine learning training over the encrypted data and provide a model in an encrypted volume and then uh, an inference computation can uh, read the encrypted model and uh, show the content of the model. So in this demo, uh, we, uh, we demonstrate uh, that uh, even stakeholders such as uh, data owner, training code owner, model owner, inference owner can still perform machine learning computation without trusting each other. So uh, in this, uh, in the um, input, uh, we contain all of the code to uh, decrypt the uh, input data and put in the uh, encrypted uh, volume. And uh, in the training, we have the training code. And we also, we also uh, show that we encrypted all of training code. Um, and in the output, we show the uh, uh, a simple inference application to read the model in the encrypted volume and show the result. So uh, we use the Docker uh, Compose uh, to perform the demo. And uh, at the beginning, as you can see, the, the, the core uh, component of this of our framework is a skill policy manager. So in short, we are we call CAS and uh, we manage our policy to allow uh, the uh, stakeholder don't need to trick, uh, don't need to trust each other, but still can perform the machine learning computation. And uh, the last is a part of the uh, security policy manager uh, perform the local attestation service. And the next thing is uh, data owner, the input. So the data owner, we encrypt the input data and also uh, define the policy to protect the uh, uh, data before upload the data to uh, un untrusted uh, environment such as uh, public cloud. And the next thing is about uh, training code uh, owner uh, they also encrypt uh, the Python code and define the policy how to perform the training and upload the uh, the code to the public cloud. And uh, in this computation, they have to read the um, input data from the encrypted uh, volume and produce a model in the uh, uh, also in the encrypted module uh, volume, we call encrypted output. And the model owner, uh, we read the uh, the model in the encrypted output and show some information about the model. And uh, the last part, but actually we perform first is the attestation and policy upload. So uh, this part of uh, Stakeholder, we uh, perform attestation to the uh, uh, policy manager uh, to to make sure that it we execute the correct code in correct stage and in also in correct platform, and then the uh, stakeholders uh, we upload the policy to protect their uh, access such that model code and data, and after that. The uh, the main component in our framework is the security policy manager. We automatically perform the attest station and make sure that the, the, the code is training, uh, is running correct code, correct stage. And uh, after that, it will uh, provide, automatically provide the uh, secret to decrypt the input data and encrypt the uh, model inside of SGX Enclave. And now take a look in the uh, OP step. So I prepared a, a small script called run. And it will show the OP step uh, we issue in this demo. And the first part is about the pre 
uh, preparing for the demo. So we just clean up stuff, uh, remove some stuff in previous lung, uh, runs, and also the uh, script to view the Docker image, and then uh, stop all containers that uh, run in this server. And the main part is uh, running the demo. Is the first we perform the attestation uh, and upload security policy to the uh, SKU policy manager. Uh, in short, we call CAS. And then it will perform the uh, reading and encrypted input and upload in uh, to the uh, encrypted uh, input volume. And then we perform the training over the encrypted data. And I will show you the, during the computation, everything will be encrypted, input data encrypted, the code is encrypted. And it, it can only perform the decrypt inside as technically. And final step, uh, after the training, uh, it will read the model in the encrypted output volume. And that's it. And to run this demo, I just execute the uh, uh, this script, the run script. First, it will stop the uh, old container in previous runs. Remove some stuff, uh, download the uh, input data. So I use the CIFAR dataset, the common dataset in machine learning. And it uh, builds a new Docker image and also builds the image for this demo. And start upload the policy here. And it performs a test station to CAS to the policy manager that I mentioned in the slide. And then it will perform uh, upload the policy. So policy for the uh, uh, input data. Uh, data owner uh, and also training code data and also the output and then it will show some uh, information after the uh, policy upload commonly it will perform the training and it, you can see all step of uh, attestation here uh, getting the code to verify it running correct uh, code correct program and also get the secret to decrypt the uh, input data So it already start training. Uh, if I open the new terminal, and then I try to uh, see what is running. So the container is running, so I can access to the training container. And check the uh, Python code. Okay. And if you can see here, the Python code is a chain dot by. So I'm um, if a uh, attacker with root access, what they see is the random text. So everything encrypted. And now, uh, if you take a look it, at the input data, It also sees a random text, okay, so everything encrypted. And during the training process, I can show the uh, how the uh, policy look like. So, for example, data owner. 
it is a policy how the uh, data owner can define the policy uh, first is the uh, name of policy and the version of uh, uh, the language so in our platform we allow the user to define the policy using the XAML uh, file and the first is the, about the access policy user defines access policy uh, for example the read or is the creator can read the input data and update the input data. Other uh, owner cannot uh, read the data. About the security, um, here we run a, a test station in the demo about the uh, in debug mode. And uh, next thing is about the uh, service, how we protect the uh, uh, service is a uh, uh, reading input data so basically it's the read data from the unencrypted data and provide the encrypted data in the encrypted input volume and here we define the uh, MI enclave of the input program to make sure it runs the correct program is not modified by any ones uh, let's say an attacker and the output will be defined in the encrypted volume and it, as you can see here uh, user defines the encrypted volume and all of the key we generated by CAS or our uh, security policy manager so everything done inside our clip so even the human being uh, cannot uh, see the secret only the machine can see the secret inside our enclave and this volume will be exported to the training policy it allows the training policy can read the data inside Enclave to perform the training over the, the, the input data after degree and now take a look on the policy uh, of the training uh, data uh, similarly is first is uh, define the asset control so uh, data owner can check uh, the policy to make sure that uh, this policy didn't uh, manipulate the input data so data owner can track uh, them so uh, can track the uh, code owner that they don't have the malicious code inside the training application uh, similarly is the attestation also are running debug mode and in the service it will run the Python application that I just show you uh, so with the command the Python app and train dot byte and this script is uh, uh, encrypted and that, uh, attacker with the root access can see only the uh, random text that I show uh, before and uh, this program we after a test session can uh, uh, decrypt the Python code and run the Python code inside Enclave and this is a uh, key task uh, that allow uh, we be uh, that allow to decrypt the Python code and it will be ejected uh, after perform the attestation after the policy manager perform attestation and we provide the key to decrypt the uh, Python code and the input uh, volume uh, we get from the import from the uh, Input policy and the output and the model will be uh, provided at the encrypted output. And also, uh, it will allow the output policy, it means uh, model owner can read the model and show some of the inference uh, data, inference result using the model. And uh, Output owner is mean model and inference. Policy is very similar that only the uh, model owner can read the, the model and perform some in inference over the model, encrypted model. And it, it imports the policy from the training, so allow it to read the encrypted uh, model. And that's it. 
reform uh, policy. And uh, before uh, provide the uh, secret or provide uh, or submit the policy to the uh, policy manager or cash, we need to perform a kind of attestation. And I can show you the uh, some code of attestation. First, you have to define the MI enclave. So it is kind of hash over your application to make sure that it will not change. Uh, the, the, the code and the application will not be changed by anyone, by an uh, attacker. So if the uh, somebody try to ma manipulate the code and the data, the hash or the application will be changed. And it will be detected. So uh, the our policy manager or cache will not allow to execute the application if uh, the, the hash is changing. So we have to perform the attestation before they execute the application, for example, the training process. And uh, upload policy. Yeah. So we have to get the uh, uh, data owner uh, credential, it's like the hash over the policy, and then start upload the policy. Maybe we can take a look at the uh, code to upload the chain, chaining policy. Yeah, so first you have performed the uh, attestation over the uh, cache or the our uh, policy manager, and then the next step we upload the, uh, the policy uh, defined in the Java file. And it, uh, here is a show for the debug, uh, in the debug mode. But in production mode, you need to provide the uh, production key to perform the attestation. Now take a look back on the training process. Uh, it's almost done. Now at that, uh, at the, uh, the uh, training process is done. Yeah, with the accuracy is 0 0.46. Now it performs the uh, the, tra uh, the model owner can read the and create the, the model and produce uh, uh, some parameter here, as you can see. And that's it for the demo. Uh, thank you for listening.